Hi there. Here's a circle with a point in it. And I need to find out what the length of this white line is as I sweep it around the circle like this. This problem interests me because some high-tech companies use theory like this to find the exact center of silicon wafers that end up making computer chips. So, let's say at an angle theta around the circle, the line has a length L. And, let's say the line starts from an offset from the center, x0, y0. My task is to find the length of the line as a function of theta. Then, after that, find x0 and y0, assuming I've perfectly measured all data of L and theta. Pause now if you want to try and solve this for yourself. Okay, let's start by drawing two lines to the true center of the wafer. This white line is L, and this angle here is the angle around the circle, theta. Now we want to find L. And so we need to write that in terms of the radius r and the offset x0, y0. And from Pythagoras, we know that distance here is just the square root of x0 squared plus y0 squared. Now there are many ways to find L. One way is to consider the horizontal distance and vertical distance separately. The total horizontal distance will be r cosine theta, which is equal to the horizontal component of this blue line, which is just x0, plus the horizontal component of this white line. Now what's that? Well, let's define this angle here as alpha. So that distance is just L cosine alpha. Now, the vertical distance is very similar. The total vertical distance is R sine theta, which is going to be equal to Y0 plus L sine alpha. Now we want to solve for L, so let's move x0 and y0 to the other side of the equation. That way, when we square equation 1 and equation 2, we'll get rid of that pesky alpha term. Squaring and expanding the left-hand side equals this, and squaring and summing the right-hand side equals this. Now cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1, so we can cancel these terms out nice and easy. And after a bit of simplifying and factoring, we get this expression. Now square root both sides of this to get our expression for L. And that's it. That's the formula which governs the length of the white line at any angle theta around the circle. We've done it. But now for the more interesting question. How can we find x0 and y0 given that we know what L is at every point theta? Now there are many ways to do this, but I'm a lazy person, so I think the easiest way to do this is to just use two points. The shortest value of L, which occurs right here, and the largest value of L, which occurs right here. Let's call this length L max, and since we know this distance, and we know this distance, therefore we know L max is equal to r plus the square root of x0 squared plus y0 squared and we'll call that equation 1. Now let's consider the shortest distance, L min. Well, once again, we know this distance, and we know the radius, so L min is equal to r minus the square root of x0 squared plus y0 squared. Let's call that equation 2. But that's not all we know. At this point, let's call theta, theta min. We can then construct a triangle from this blue line here. And from simple trig, we know that tan theta min is equal to y0 divided by x0. Let's call that equation 3. Great. We now have all we need to find r, x0, and y0 from the three equations of L max, L min, and theta min. I'll rewrite these equations here. Okay, where to start? Let's sum equation 1 and 2 together. We notice that the square root terms will cancel nicely, leaving us with L max plus L min is equal to 2R. And so this just means our radius is just the average of our maximum and minimum lengths. That seems pretty intuitive. Okay, what else can we do? Let's sub equation 3 in equation 1. Equation 1 is L max is equal to R plus the square root of X naught squared plus, and instead of writing Y naught squared, 
we're going to write x naught tan theta min squared. That way we can factor out the x naught term and we have this. Nice. And this square root term is actually just 1 divided by cosine theta min. So let's plug that in. Now all we have to do is rearrange to solve for x naught. Okay, subbing in the value for our radius simplifies to this equation, and there we have it. We found an expression for x naught in terms of our L data. But what about y naught? Let's look at equation 3 and sub our result for x naught. Now cosine times tan is equal to sine, and so that means that y naught is equal to L max minus L min divided by 2 times by sine theta min. And there we go, we've done it. We can calculate our offset wherever it is, and however small, just by using a few points of measured length data. And I thought that was pretty cool, and hopefully you did too as well. Cheers.